Welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at section C of the 2021 Internal Science Paper 2. Let us look at question C2. Carbon dioxide can be prepared in the laboratory by adding dilute hydrochloric acid to calcium carbonate as shown in the following diagram. So we have dilute hydrochloric acid, then we have carbon dioxide as one of the products when we react a dilute hydrochloric acid with calcium carbonate, which is passed in the concentrated sulfuric acid. Question M, name the two substances that would be produced in the reaction besides carbon dioxide. Okay, so let us go to the new page to answer question A. So question A of C, so we know that uh, when we react an acid plus uh, a carbonate, The product is basically a salt, then plus water, then a plus carbon dioxide. So we know that uh, if you react these two, we end up with the equation above. So now what we are reacting with is basically the, the acid is hydrochloric acid. Then we react it with basically a calcium carbonate, which is this one. So we have seen SCO3. This is basically a solid. Then this is aqueous. Then we are going to end up with a salt. So now the salt becomes now basically a uh, calcium displaces hydrogen in the uh, acid. So we end up with basically calcium chloride, then plus water. So calcium chloride is aqueous. So this is basically salt then we have the liquid then we have carbon dioxide which is a gas so the other two products are basically calcium chloride and water that's the answer so we have a calcium chloride and water as the answer We look at question B, write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction. So now we've already done uh, the chemical equation, so it's just a matter of now balancing. As we are answering A, this is B. Remember, this is A, which is here the A part. So now let us answer B. So B, we just need to balance the equation. So on the left hand side, from a uh, hydrochloric acid, we have one hydrogen. Then this side, we have two. This side, we have two here in water, but this side, we have one. So to balance this, we need to introduce a two here so that we have two hydrogen, two hydrogen here. That one no, is balanced. Then uh, also, we have two chloride and this side to chloride so the chloride is balanced then uh, we remain with calcium so calcium we have one here and one is balanced then we look at uh, uh, oxygen so here we have uh, three then this side you have uh, one plus two which is three then carbon we have uh, one one so that is balanced just by introducing one number it is balanced so we look at question c loma numero one name the method of collecting carbon dioxide shown in the diagram 
So basically, we are looking at this uh, method. So what you notice in this case, uh, gas carbon dioxide is falling down because it is in denser than air. So because carbon is denser than air, to collect carbon, we use the method known as displacement of air downward delivery method. So displacement of air downward delivery method. Then the other method which we need to know also is what is known as displacement of air upward delivery method. So this one is used for gases that are less denser than air, e.g. hydrogen or ammonia. So because they are less dense than the air, these gases, they will be rising upward. So you need to collect them by this method. In this one, this one will come down because it's denser than the air. So you need to take note of those two methods. So we look at um, Loman numeral 2 of SIM. Give the property of carbon dioxide that makes it possible to be collected by the method named in C. Loman numeral 1. So we have already explained this. So uh, the property is it is in denser than the air or it is in heavier than ordinary air. That's what makes it possible to be collected. So question D. What is the purpose of the concentrated sulfuric acid in the experiment. So for D, the purpose of a concentrated sulfuric acid is basically to absorb moisture from the gas, which is carbon dioxide. So um, concentrated uh, sulfuric acid absorbs, so absorbs uh, the moisture from the gas. So this gas is carbon dioxide. So basically it acts as a dehydrating agent. That's the purpose. We move to question E. Explain why carbon dioxide cannot be prepared using dilute sulfuric acid with calcium carbonate. So basically, the reason is calcium formed during the reaction is basically uh, insoluble in water. Okay? So it would basically stop the reaction by covering the calcium carbonate or uh, fragments of calcium carbonate. That's the reason. So basically, this is because a calcium so calcium a sulfate formed during the reaction is insoluble insoluble in water so because it's insoluble in water it stops stops the reaction by covering calcium carbonate. So it will cover 
calcium carbonate ends stopping the reaction so the reaction won't be complete it will be a prematurely stopped we look at question f give two industrial uses of carbon dioxide so f the two industrial uses of carbon dioxide basically are the first one are is used in fire extinguishers number two are uh, basically uh, is used for making carbonated drinks then at uh, the bonus one remember we asked for two uh, is used for photosynthesis so for photosynthesis to take place it is uh, required but this one is not the industrial use this is natural use it's used by nature then the third one which is the industrial use it is used to make dry ice which are critical in refrigerators used to make a dry ice or used as dry ice in refrigerators so these are the three industrial use then this the third one is basically are uh, used by uh, nature for photosynthesis purpose so basically this is how you answer this question to get the optimal marks